Uh, hello, I'm Bishra Ustri from Gebze Technical University and uh, I work in Havasa for Naval Forces on Augmented and Virtual Reality as well in Turkey. Uh, I'm going to talk about the subject of uh, using Augmented Reality Interfaces for Artificial Intelligence Systems uh, on which I work with my professor Jakub Genç and I am proud to be at this conference. If you look at the outline, we'll start with introduction, then uh, continue with related work, uh, visualization of deep learning models on 2D interfaces, visualization with augmented reality interfaces, and then methodology uh, that visualization deep learning models with augmented reality interfaces, UX research, and finally, the conclusion will be mentioned. <clears throat> Human perception refers to the process by which uh, individuals interpret and make sense, uh, make sense of the sensory information they receive from the environment. Uh, it involves the brain and the nervous system working together to collect process and interpret information from the senses, including uh, sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. Understanding human perception is necessary in fields such as psychology, neuroscience, design, and human-computer interaction. Researchers and practitioners in this field seek to explore and leverage the mechanism of perception to enhance various aspects of human experience and in, uh, interact, interaction with the environment. By using these perception methods together, complexity is reduced when there's an abundance of information. For many people, Visualization is the most important of these perception methods. User uh, interfaces enable human computer interaction and communication. Uh, users can use systems to user interfaces. To design these interfaces for ease of use and to understand users, it is necessary to get to know users, be familiar with their experiences, and design the overall functionality of the system. User interfaces can be expressed in 2D or by adding another dimension, they can be represented in 3D. This allows for cognitive, perceptual, and motor performance for people interacting in the physical world. In augmented reality, a 3D representation of the world is created to allow digital objects to coexist with physical objects. Augmented reality interfaces enhance the user's perception with additional information by merging parts, parts of the real world with synthetic uh, computer-generated images. Uh, as time progress uh, with uh, ongoing research and development, the learning models become more complex and specialized. Visualization is crucial for understanding and interpreting complex models. Visualization tools play an important role in making complex deep learning models more interpretable. Uh, they help researchers, engineers, and data scientists better understand and improve models eff uh, effectively. Uh, this study has been conducted to answer the question of how augmented reality interfaces will affect users when used to visualize deep learning models. The topics we contributed to the literature with this study can be listed as follows. Uh, we enabled the visualization of the deep learning model on the HoloLens device, which is a, a mixed reality glasses that combines the real environment and the virtual environment. We measure, uh, measured the usability of this system by measuring user perception of 3D interfaces with augmented reality uh, on the HoloLens device and 2D interfaces on the monitor. If we look at the um, related work, uh, Tracer and uh, it's all combined machine learning algorithms for image segmentation using Microsoft HoloLens for use in live medical operating rooms. Lin and Chan developed a 
deep learning recommendation system that combines AR technology and learning theories. The system is designed for students with different learning backgrounds and different majors. Bermejo et al. have carried out studies on the combination of big data with augmented reality and their visualization, especially in areas such as uh, tourism, health, and public services. In Carbico et al. discussed the exploration of virtual reality as a tool for visualizing AI systems in the context of human-computer interaction. Hook and uh, Schreiber made model visualization in virtual reality using the Unreal Engine. Yusinke et al. created the deep visualization toolbox based on the development of better tools for visualizing and interpreting neural networks in order to understand how the models work and what calculations they performed in the intermediate layers. Kets and Lewis et al. have uh, prepared a virtual reality tool to automate the process of assigning data and ties to different categories. Lins, uh, Hasley, and Martinez applied visualization in virtual reality by addressing the problem of how to create complex CNS. Chang Gu, Lima, and uh, Zhang Jun Zhou introduced a pie chart tool called Deep Graph that combines visualization and code mapping features to understand and visualize deep learning models. If I explain the visualization of deep learning models in 2D interfaces, uh, a deep learning model is a machine learning model designed to perform complex learning tasks using multi-layered neural network architectures. The visualization of deep learning models aims to represent the functioning and learning process within complex structures in a more understandable and transparent manner. Deep learning models can be visualized in some ways. Uh, visualization, uh, visualizing the weights and activations in each layer of a deep learning model can help you better understand the model's learning process. Visualizing the features uh, learned by the model is actually a method used on how the model works on the data and what types of patterns it has learned. As graphical visualization tools, um, TensorBoard is used to visual visualize deep learning models. It provides information on model performance, learning curves, and graphical presentations. Neptune aims to store, organize, display, and compare all metadata created during the model development process. Comet ML is for researchers and practitioners who want to understand NLP model uh, behavior visually, interactively, and uh, an extensible tool. Weights and biases, called 1DB, focuses on deep learning and allows tracking of training runs with information such as loss accuracy. <clears throat> iPlot is a simple interactive visualization tool that uh, aids AI researchers in discovering correlations and losses in high dim dimensional data. Uh, as network structure visualization tools uh, can be seen out with, is useful for analyzing a snapshot of a CNN model during training and is focusing on offline analysis. Neural Networks Playground aims to make neural networks more accessible and easier to learn. Netron is a viewer for neural networks, deep learning, and machine learning models. Uh, and the last one, ANN Visualizer provides visual, visualization by creating a presentable graph of the neural network being, uh, being constructed. Um, construct Sorry. If I explain the visualization with augmented reality interfaces, <clears throat> uh, first, the augmented reality refers to the technology of uh, enriching the real world with digital information. With augmented reality, users can interact with information and other elements, elements that constitute the real em environment. Artificial information and Objects related to surroundings can be seamlessly integrated with real world. Air applications 
enable users to recognize physical objects in the real world and enhance them with digital content. Their interfaces include that uh, AR applications can enable users to interact with objects in the real world by detecting and tracking their movements. Users can use the cameras on AR applications to view real world objects as image recognition. Air interfaces provide users with the ability to interact with voice commands. Touch screens allow users to interact with digital air objects by tapping and dragging. AR devices can create holographic images or virtual world layers combined with the real world. This allows users to overlay digital information onto or around real world objects. Head mounted displays for AR provide users with interactive access to AR content in the real world. Examples include uh, Microsoft HoloLens and Google Glass. AR allows users to view real time data by integrating it uh, with the real world. When, um, when using augmented reality interfaces, it's important to ensure that these interfaces are user friendly for the comfort of users. For this purpose, user experience is really important. Uh, user experience refers to the experience a user has while interacting with a product or service uh, throughout the process. A good user experience helps users achieve their goals quickly and easily, interact with a user-friendly interface, uh, overall have a positive experience. Uh, as a result, user um, standard designs are required. Um, when we look at the methodology, uh, as a result of the conducted analysis, it has been decided that visualizing deep learning models greatly contributes to understanding the model. In this context, two and three dimensional environments are represented to the user. For the network structure, it is essential to first, first uh, extract the architecture of the network. This architectural structure was investigated and it was observed that the study can be divided into two separate sections, model design and model training. Uh, model design includes the number of hidden layers, activation functions, phase determination, and throughput parameters. Model training uh, encom encompasses the learning rate, optimization algorithm, epoch, and batch size. First of all, it was decided to visualize the model structure. The question to be explored is, uh, what is the difference in two or three dimensions regarding the benefits or creating awareness for users of the system using these parameters? This study is a mixed reality application and we, uh, will be showcased on the Microsoft HoloLens 2 device. And this device developed by Microsoft combines the virtual and real worlds. It is a wear, uh, wearable headset that allows users to enrich the real world with digital information, providing them with a mixed reality experience. Uh, it is widely used in visualization applications and research. By merging the real world with digital information, it offers opportunities to visualize data and improve business processes. In the study, uh, a path was followed as shown in figure. Uh, firstly, in the stage of Python application, uh, the LENET model was created. It was trained with the MD data set and then tested with sample data. The filters used uh, at this stage were saved as PNG files. In addition, the weight values of these filters are stored in TXT file. During the testing phase with sample data, the feature maps in the layers were also recorded. Each numerical value of the MNIST dataset was tested. The feature maps of all these values has been recorded. After that, these files were used for visualization in the Unity application. 
For fully connected layers, the information received is given to the ver uh, variables held by perception manager script created in Unity. When the application runs, uh, the perception prefab, which represents the layers, shows the connections in the layers. In this study, a mixed reality toolkit library was used to run on Microsoft Polynesia 2. The user was offered a choice of test data. Volume was given to visualize the size of each layer. Layer information was written over the layers. Uh, filters visualized. Weight information was written as each filter scanned. When each layer was clicked, the feature maps of the layer were visualized. Uh, to make it more impressive, animations were used while filters scanned, inputs and layers were uh, clicked. When focusing on the fully connected layers, connections can be visualized. By including real user data in the design process and measuring the benefits or harm, harms of each uh, change, it is necessary to fully understand and explain what effects the changes have on users' behavior. User research should identify the most important statistical information and tools need to measure uh, user experience, providing guidance on the practical aspects of quantitative analysis. Uh, statistical theory should be linked to practice and user research should be measured. It can be done by the following methods. Summarize data and calculate margins of error. Uh, determine appro uh, appropriate sample size. Standards usability surveys. Resolve controversies in measurement and statistics. Some uh, that called uh, the single usability metric was used for user testing. It is the representation of four basic parameters that facilitate facilitate the usability of a task or system with a single average statistic. There is a sum calculator uh, prepared by measuring usability website to calculate this. Uh, the template automatically calculates usability one by one when, satis when satisfaction, completion, um, error, and time information are given. In this study, the user group has been created that uh, include 20 people that uh, they were grouped according to their experience and title. The network structure was test tested them on HoloLens tool. Some questions are asked the users. The system was compared with a 2D version of this application running on a computer. Uh, every single user and did these tasks, um, as you see, there are two types uh, of tasks. While the first one is about where the convolution layer is focused, uh, the other one is about the feature of the filter. Uh, these tasks are given to users on monitors and HoloLens. First of all, to the application was tested by users and results were sa saved. After that, 3D application was tested. Some values were obtained. After that, uh, completion, error size, and times were saved. For satisfaction, after scenario questionnaire model was applied as shown in the table. And after scenario questionnaire is a tool designed to gather um, feedback and insights from participants or Observers, after they have experienced a particular scenario, event, training session, or any other structured activity. The purpose of the questionnaire is to assess the effectiveness of the scenario, identity strength, uh, pinpoint areas for improvement, and collect sub subjective opinions from uh, those involved. By collecting response to these questions, Organizers or facilita facilitators can gain valuable insights into the strength and weakness of the scenario. The feedback can be used to refine future scenarios and has facilitation techniques and ensure that participants' needs and expectations are met. 
Overall, uh, an after scenario questionnaire is a valuable tool for continuous improvement and presentation of scenarios or events. Um, only values were ent uh, entered from the red template for usability calculation with some. Uh, satisfaction was calculated with the ask technique. Uh, completion is whether the user can finish the task. Errors are the number of errors comp uh, compared during the task. Time is how long the task uh, takes in seconds. Uh, in the usability testing using some, when looking at satisfaction, task completion, errors, and time, uh, the usability of 2D interfaces was determined to be 65% on average, while the usability of 3D interfaces was determined to be 80%. As a conclusion, the satisfaction rate with the uh, 3D system, which impressed users who encountered uh, augmented reality for the first time, was high. Users interested in artificial intelligence uh, perform the tasks easily. They start that being 3D and interactive could be more beneficial by making it easier to understand more complex networks. Users who are not interested in artificial intelligence were satisfied with the understandability of the system. They said having their filters and feature maps so close and interactive was more impressive than a monitor. Looking at the answers to the questions, it was seen that users gave answers that were open the improvement in 3D interfaces. In the con uh, continuation of the study, it is aimed to develop a system that will enable the visualization of a more complex model structure based on this foundation. Uh, in this way, Usability can be measured more accurately. UX work will continue like this. As a result, augmented reality is a field that can be used as a feature that increases human capabilities in artificial intelligence systems. Here is the references. And thank you so much for attention.